Okay, so this video is basically a remake of videos one and video two of my how to build an RC airplane um, video series. Um, I'm just redoing this video because I'm going to do a little better job on it. So, if you haven't, so this is basically just a revised version of the older video. So, this is video one. It's going to take you from just your printed off plans to having your foam pieces cut out. So, basically, what all of video one covers is preparing your plans to get them cut out. And so far, I developed a much faster and easier way to do that. It'll save a lot of time. So, using that method, I'm going to show you first how to prepare your plans and then on how to cut them out onto your foam. So, for the purpose of this video, I've created my own little set of plans. Um, it basically it just makes like this kind of blob. So, once you get your plans, you're going to want to lay them out and they'll just fit together like a puzzle and so um, the plans when you get them you can look here and you can see how there's a little bit of a border on the end of each line so they won't really tape together when there's this border so we're gonna have to first fix that and then we'll be able to tape them together so basically all we gotta do now is just fix these borders and to show you how to do this I've created a little animation. This is gonna follow the animation. I'm gonna show you taping these plans together and creating your piece that's ready to be made. So here are the plans for the blob. They're um I just drew them up, but they'll be right out of your printer. And so back we noticed there are borders around the page. The lines don't go to the edge. So what I'm gonna do now is just like the animation shows, cut like a little scallop, kind of a scallop shape on one side of the piece. So just to show you how that's gonna look, I'm just gonna make a scallop shape. Okay, so here's a piece I cut off. It just looks like that. And I just cut right up to the line. So now, so now there's no border. And now what I can do is these two pieces, they slide together and I can match up the ends of the lines. So now what I'm gonna do is cut off the scallop on the other side side of the line. Okay, now this piece now is basically border free. And this is ready to be fit in. Now you only need to cut the scallops on one side so your papers will overlap. So what I'm going to do is just line up the ends of the lines, line it up along here, Make sure it's all nice and lined up. And then I'm gonna tape it. For tape, I'm just using normal scotch tape. Uh, I prefer to use clear tape because it looks a little better. So now, um, what I have to do is just this piece, it'll fit under the scallop here. All that's left is this piece, I'm gonna cut off. Okay, and this one can go on top. And this will just be taped down. And then there, there is the completed plan. And as you can see, it's all taped together with a solid line and no borders. Now, now that we're done with this, we're ready to um, cut it out. So the past method I showed was cutting along the line, but that takes quite a while. So what I'm gonna do this time, take my scissors, and I'm just gonna cut roughly around the line. 
just to get the shape of it. I'm going to leave about a quarter inch or about a half inch or two centimeter gap all the way around. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like. Okay, so here's all the scraps. And when you get your plans, you'll want to do this for every single piece. So now, as you can see, I have my plans and I just hacked out the background. So now we have the border and the pieces are just all ready to go pretty much. So when you're working with plans like this at this stage, it's best to be neat and just take your time and try and get everything aligned as well as you can because if it's all sloppy, your plane won't fit together very well and it'll just cause problems later. So now is when you really want to take your time and make sure everything is straight. I'm just doing this pretty fast just for the video. Okay, so now we have our plans all cut out and now we're ready to um, actually cut out the foam. So the foam I'm gonna be using for this demo is just some six-ish millimeter EPP I found laying around. Um, you'll have to use EPP or Depron or whatever, the process is basically the same. Um, with EPP, you're going to need to uh, change out your exacto knife blade a lot more because it dulls the blades very quickly. So for this, we have our EPP foam and what you're going to want to do is for this, supplies you are going to need, of course, your plans, I have my blob, your foam, I have this EPP, and you're also going to need an exacto knife and brand new or one or two exacto knife blades and then you're going to probably want a surface under this to cut it out to cut your um, plans out on and you'll also need a ruler so moving on to this um here's everything you're going to need here's a ruler or a straight edge i like to use a metal ruler um, or a ruler with a metal edge just to get a just so you don't cut your ruler so you're going to need that of course your plans your foam tape, an X-Acto knife, and here's a new box of X-Acto knife blades. So the first thing you're gonna do is uh, make sure you're cutting uh, uh, out your plans on something that you can cut on. So like, don't use a fine wooden table. Um, so just a heads up, cause you will cut what's under it, so you can use magazines or whatever. So first, I'm gonna move, center all my plans. So. I'm just going to move them down so I use up as little foam as possible. What you're going to want to do is with your airplane is you're going to try and lay out everything and find a layout where you can fit on all your parts with as little space as possible. So now you have your pieces down, I'm going to take, you take your tape and then you need to tape them down. So uh, I just like to take little pieces of tape and usually I use a few pieces like one there, one here one here, and then one piece of tape up here. Just to kind of make sure it's tied down nice and well. Um, and make sure it's nice and flat when you put down your tape. Um, and then depending on how big your piece is, depends on how much tape you use. So now, um, this thing is kind of a dull blaze, so I'm just gonna throw that out. Um, get a new exact knife blade, because you really want to use a sharp blade when you cut out this stuff. Uh, I'm using an X-Acto knife, X-Acto. They work great, that's what I use, it's kind of the hobby standard. So now we have this laid out, and a new blade ready to go. Um, what I'm going to do now is just cut it out. So if you notice, what's holding this down are the pieces of tape. So if we cut the tape, it's not going to be held down. So what I'm going to do is cut the lines that aren't, that don't have tape holding them down first. So, when you cut it out, um, one thing to watch is your angle. So you want to cut it out straight. If you hold your knife like this and cut it out, you're going to have a weird edge. So keep it up, keep your knife straight, and just cut, and just pull. And I usually suggest using a nice, um, brand new blade and just and trying not to score it. So what I'm going to do 
just line up my ruler on the first line. Stick it in. There's one. And that's how you're gonna do edges like that. For curved edges, what you can do is, I like to do is just kinda cut through halfway, just score it, just to try and get the curve right. Then once I'm happy with the line, go in and cut all the way around. And then finish your curve like so. And then once you're back to straight edge, use your straight edge. And curves. Okay, so that was very easy. So now you can pull off the border, the little edge, and throw that away. And then here are your plans. So you can just reuse these, just tape and cut along the lines. And now, there, there's your blob, or whatever, your wing, or your fuselage. So, see how easy that was? Um, there's really nothing to it. So, and then you can compare it and see they look, basically it's an exact copy. And if you can look, the edge is nice and straight because they didn't angle the knife or anything like that. So, that looks good. Um, and now that you've cut them out, that's basically the end of the video. Um, this video is going to be a lot better than the old one, so... I'm going to be redoing some of these videos and then installing the motor and stuff. That's going to be coming soon. So, I guess thank you for watching this. And I hope you come and see the other videos in this series or check out my website with free airplane plans. So, thank you for watching.